Today I sit in a booth that demonstrates technologies that are not available to women that are in need of early detection for breast cancer. Uh, the science that we're about to talk about basically came out of the ability for us to find life on other planets by looking at the fossil record, and in this case looking at dinosaur eggs and defining fetuses within the eggs 65 million years ago. That technology is a huge benefit, or would be a huge benefit, in medicine today if it were in fact embraced. Uh, we built this technology to be able to be used in the consumer marketplace so women, anybody that is in dire need of, 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 of accurate diagnostics would have access to any kind of technology that would be available to help them get to that stage. In Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is this, fall, this next month, we have aligned ourselves with Komen. And what they're wanting to do is to share this technology that I developed with NASA to be able to put together a screening program that was inexpensive, very safe, and very accurate for women with dense breasts using MRI. This is one of the dinosaur eggs that were used to uh, image uh, fossil remnants within uh, 65 million year old uh, relics from the late Cretaceous period, the dinosaur era. Uh, what makes these eggs unique is some say that they're the moment of extinction for the dinosaurs. And these eggs represent uh, facts and finds through uh, non-invasive imaging that point to these fetuses were killed in these eggs midway through a hatch cycle. The real news about this technology is how we got these images and what they mean down the road for, for medicine. So inside of this egg is this fetus. And the technology to be able to build this kind of detailed information was, was not uh, readily available in medicine. And while I was at NASA, I was called in to assist in the conjoined twin separation at UCLA in 2002 with the Guatemalan, uh, two Guatemalan girls. And they used this technology to be able to put together a road map of the vascular system within the two girls' heads to allow them to successfully separate the two girls. Uh, four years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer um, I elected to have a, a bilateral mastectomies because I had had uh, uh, cancer in side two on one other side before. Um, I went through the traditional uh, mammograms, uh, needle locations, uh, lumpectomies, uh, back again for more mammograms, more needle locations, and it was a long process to finally get to the point where we did a stereotactic biopsy and discovered that I needed that I did have cancer and I uh, I elected then to have the uh, mastectomy is done. Um, I I knew Lee uh, Shield, Dr. Shield, uh, many years ago when he came to our town uh, with his uh, MRI. And at that point, I didn't understand the value of, of what he was doing. Um, mainly because I hadn't been involved in, in breast cancer detection for uh, a long period of time. But after it affected my life and the life of my family, uh, I uh, re, uh, reunited with Lee to determine what it was and to really understand what it was that he did that I thought was so, would be so beneficial to women. So I've changed my, my attitude somewhat uh, uh, regarding uh, MRI, and I see that it is the most effective way today to uh, diagnose uh, breast cancer. Getting away from the standard mammogram, which is not effective at all, especially in dense breasts, it's about 30% effective in all other types of, of, of breast imaging. So this is basically the, the leading campaign to share with women around the world that the new science and the new technologies, the earliest detection for breast cancer is now available.